a very strange transition when you're used to being the guy in the room, or eight, one of the guys in the room, just pitching and trying to solve that problem or whatever. And then it goes, you, you have to turn on a completely different part of your brain where you now have to you think about it and, of course, second-guess yourself and wonder <laughs> if you're right and does everybody think I'm an idiot? Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, hear what everybody's saying because ultimately you have to stop and go, okay, oh, that's it, that's great, let's, let's do that, let's move forward. And if you're too much in your own head thinking about solving this problem, you can often miss Mm -hmm. a really good pitch that would have solved that problem. So it's a very strange dynamic that suddenly changes the minute you become in charge. You also, you can't believe there's just a time that what I say goes. Like, yeah. it's, just, it's so shocking to you, and it's and it's at first it's terrifying. Yeah, it, it, it really is. They build is. the thing you tell them to build. Yeah, I mean, I remember many cases like that, like, wow, this is just a little idea in our heads three days ago, and suddenly, you know, people are working all night to build something for you. But it's that's a very strange... Mm -hmm. feeling. How long does it take you to get into that groove of like, okay, I am in charge, if this is working? Well, I mean, you know, I think in the beginning you just have to fake it. And if you just fake it and look confident. And, and, I, and, and frankly, I think that for the most part, when I've talked to other writers who have dealt with what they consider to be frustrating showrunners, the number one complaint might be they're indecisive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're sitting there and it's, it's 11 at night and, and he can't decide between uh and the. <laughs> and I, I've, I took that to heart and, you know, I just try to say, you know what, this may not be right, but this, is, people just want this is a decision and I got to pick a way. This one feels better to me, so let's go down this road and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You're looking at a Freeling Cloud Gazer with aftermarket frequency scrambler, untraceable. As you can guess, I'm a droner myself. Yes, you're droning right now. Oh, he's getting closer! Mom, maybe you should cover up. No, that's crazy. We can just knock it out of the sky. Manny, grab the hose. I'll use this to blind it. My eyes! My hands! Oh! Oh! Ah! You know, we always start with, oh, how is that funny? And I think that at the same time, we're asking how is this real and what's real about this and what's the truth here and all that. We're absolutely doing that. But if it just doesn't feel like we can get some good comedy out of it, we'll go, this is just getting dark and serious and let's let it go for now until we come up with a funny take on it. And it's tricky because uh, you're then put into these competitions where you're then competing against a show that might approach it very differently. And it doesn't make one better or mm -hmm. worse than the other. It just means it's completely, utterly... Although different statistically, in yours always seem to be better. So I'm happy with the system. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is don't mess with the system. <laughs> <laughs>